Hey guys, Roshi is here. Today I wanted to showcase something I don't see a lot of people talking about, and it ends up being quite good value. Uh, for a while, as long as I've been, you know, gaming, uh, Humble Bundle's kind of been around as a good way to, you know, pick up cheap games in large quantities and just have decent indie games to play. And uh, occasionally they're pulling in, like, top-tier, high-quality games. Um, and, you know, they're not always new, but they're good games, and you can definitely spend a lot of hours on this compared to how much money you spend, so pretty cheap way to get into gaming, and I highly recommend it for anyone that's uh, low on funds but wants to play a lot of different games. Rather than, you know, just buying one really good game, you could uh, pick these up and get a lot of playtime and have a lot of good variety. So anyway, I wanted to jump into it. Uh, this is a series I plan on doing where I review the various Humble Choice bundles, um, which is a subscription they provide, and give my feedback on, you know, I'm just gonna drop 10, 20 hours, or even more if I like it, and uh, just crack into these games and give you guys my feedback and uh, maybe help you make a better decision on uh, if you want to try these games out or if you want to try the bundle. Now, <laughs> disclaimer, I am not sponsored by Humble Bundle, but if you want to give me some kickback for this, down in the description there is a link, and if you use that referral link, I will get, um, you know, I'll get some store money that I can spend on. I'll get some Humble Bundle fun bucks, basically, so appreciate that. Also, if you find this interesting, Go ahead and drop a like, subscribe. If you see any of these games you want me to try uh, that I don't already plan on trying, or if you see another game you want me to play and talk about, go ahead and comment it down below. Anyway, let's crack into it. All right, the first one for this month, uh, May of 2020, we've got Jurassic World Evolution. Now this game looks pretty interesting. Um, Basically, you make your own Jurassic Park themed, uh, it's kind of like Roller Coaster Tycoon in a way. But, uh, very interesting. Does not require too much PC specs. Um, anything from the last four or five years will probably get it done. It's a little on the upper end, but not, not too far. But, uh, yeah, it, it looks interesting. Um, I don't think. I will be playing it because it's not my cup of tea, uh, but I could definitely see a more, uh, anyone looking for like a really good casual experience could enjoy this. Um, it's got very good reviews, uh, very positive, and uh, a lot of people seem to like this game. Um, right now you can buy this game for $45, and it's cheap as hell to get the humble choices. That's kind of interesting. Next up, XCOM. I already own this game, so I'll go ahead and uh, this one will be on the list. I'll definitely be reviewing this soon. Uh, look forward to that coming out. Uh, I won't get into much on this here, but it's a really quality strategy game. Uh, I might play XCOM 1 first, but I'm excited to play this game and show it off to you guys. Uh, I already know it has good reviews. I don't even need to pull it up. Anyway, next up, Rise of Industry. Uh, this game also is kind of in the same vein of Jurassic World. Uh, you're building up a city and building up industry and trying to grow an empire, basically. Uh, this looks interesting. Um, once again, this kind of follows in the same boat of Jurassic World for me. Uh, I might pick it up and try it out, um, but this might not be one of my first or even middle picks, just because these tend to... Uh, require a lot of game knowledge before you can really enjoy it. We'll see. Um, for now, I am going to pass on that. Uh, next up, we've got Niche, a genetic survival game. Um, this game's pretty <laughs> pretty interesting. Uh, I pulled it up on the Steam store, and at first glance, it looked like something that might... something I might like, but... Um, I don't know. I might try it just because why not, but basically you're just trying to like grow a species of animals <laughs> and uh, apparently there can be like reject animals and that can kind of screw you over and you have to like build your way out of it because 
Your, your animal could have like only one leg or something, or <laughs> just be useless or have some sort of deficiency in some way. So that that randomness might actually make it interesting. But uh, pull it up on the Steam store here. Uh, yeah. So also very positive for this one. Uh, this guy's kind of funny, but uh, this game seems pretty simple. I don't know how many hours you'll really be able to get out of it, but it might be enjoyable, so potentially might be playing this one on my stream. Anyway, next up, Warhammer 40k. <laughs> As you can see, I've already claimed this one. Uh, it's been a while since I've played a, a 4x style game, but that's what this is. Uh, think Civilization or... Um, you know, the big top-down, build an army, take over cities, you know, that, that's what this is. Um, pretty good. Uh, I've already played this game, so uh, I'll leave my feedback on that for a separate video, but this one definitely uh, seems to be worth it. And the price tag coming in at 40 bucks, like, things a steal. Anyway, next up, the Sword of Ditto. Uh, I believe this game is actually co-op, and it's supposed to be like a casual RPG that uh, even the newest player could hop into, so I I might actually pick this up because I definitely have a few friends who want to get into gaming, but aren't as, uh, are more casual, we'll, we'll say that. and. Uh, Overall, uh, the reviews have been mixed, and actually, this has bumped up recently. So it looks like the reviews in have been going up over time, because the last time I looked at this, they were both mixed. However, if you're just looking for a really casual game, it's couch co-op. Uh, you can see that down here. And uh, yeah, I, I might be picking this up just to play with uh, the noobs. Anyway, uh, next up, we have Warsaw, and <laughs> spoiler alert, I think this one's going to be a good one. Um, just looking at the graphics and the style of the game, it looks like they're basically taking the turn-based strategy and making it a, into a war game, which I can't really think of too many games that have done this. Uh, Valkyrie? Whatever. But... That aside, looks interesting. Um, I wonder, I don't think it'll be as challenging or hardcore as a game like, uh, um, oh, how am I forgetting the name of this? Darkest Dungeon? However, <laughs> it may be made by the same people because th th this basically might just be World War II Darkest Dungeon. I, let me dig in and see if they actually mention that, but. Yeah, I don't see it. However, you know what? This one looks good. Uh, I definitely picked it up. I'll definitely be playing that soon. Uh, it's got good reviews, and yeah, I look forward to playing it. Anyway, next up, we've got Heave Ho. This game definitely falls into the other co-op strat co-op category. Uh, I've already claimed it. It looks <laughs> really silly. Uh, the basic idea is you pick a character and you can customize them as much as you want and then uh, you use that character to like solve challenges and stuff. I think it's just supposed to be a party game, but uh, definitely looks like something I'll be pulling out of my hat the next time I have a group over. Uh, might not end up on stream, but we'll see. Anyway, this <laughs> I have a soft spot for couch co-op games, so I'm excited to um, play this down the road and have a blast. Anyway, next up, M.O. Astray. And I actually haven't read into this too much. Um, it looks like a, a puzzle game and maybe a Metroidvania style like puzzle game. So if that is your cup of tea, this one might be a good choice for you. Uh, I, I don't mind Metroidvanias, but they all start to get kind of samey after a while. So, take that with a cup of salt, <laughs> or a grain of salt, but, uh, this seems interesting, um, usually it's a $15 game, uh, if I've got some, 
extra time towards the end of the month, this definitely might make its way up a little. Next up, Neoverse. Spoilers, I might need to make these videos before I go through. However, this is one I want to play. Um, I've heard it related to basically anime Slay the Spire, where you just play as anime girls. And that's honestly enough to sell me. <laughs> but that aside, it looks interesting. Uh, if you read through, it's got plenty of cards, so there'll be a lot of variety. Um, it seems like all of the RPG features that they'll have for your, you know, deck building and really customizing your character and cruising through. Uh, I, I like that kind of game. And the fact that it's a card game too, which I like myself some card games. Um, I'm about this, and I guess the uh, the anime girls and the art style. Is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're 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 playing this one. It's gonna be soon. I look forward to videos of that. Next up, Chess Ultra. <laughs> I think this one speaks for yourself. You should probably know what chess is by now. But if you want to play chess, like these graphics look pretty. <laughs> might be about as good looking as chess can get unless you're playing it in person with like a cool 3d printed uh chess board so uh i probably won't be buying this because i've played chess before i don't really need to do a review about chess there's not really too much input i can provide other than it's chess moving on we've got horace and this is eccentric british humor and i find that to be interesting um I'm not quite sure what they mean by that, but I really, I'm really, i really digging this art scheme. Uh, you got Thomas, I think that's Thomas, uh, I don't know, but just looking through this, <laughs> look at these guys, since when are runners this bulky? Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> this looks like it might be a good time and it might be on my list, but I'm not British, I am might miss some of this humor, it might go over my head, but it might be cool to check out. and. It's already on the bundle, so we'll see. So to recap, uh, with the Humble Choice bundle, you get to pick 10 games if you're grandfathered in with the older system, or nine if you're not. Uh, this month, there's 12 games. Uh, in my opinion, I don't see any need to buy Chess Ultra, and I'm probably going to pass on potentially either Jurassic World, Rise of Industry, Niche, or MO Astray. However, the rest of these, pretty solid games, and I'll probably be playing them soon. Uh, you'll see some videos popping up shortly. I've already played through Gladius, good game. Look forward to that. Anyway, if there's any of these games you really want to see, type it out in the comments, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and if you have any feedback on this style of video, please let me know. Thanks, and have a good night.